we recently saw, you know, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, uh, I, February 15th, uh, you know, opening day here in the States, yeah. uh, small theater, uh, Star Cinema Grill, Houston, Texas, everyone had a blast. Everyone had really? a blast. Yes. I love the, that. <laughs> the entire theater had a great time. Um, I think that this is one of those films that I think, you know, you can have a good time watching it alone, but at the same time, it's for me, one of those movies that I think caters to an audience. Like it's, it's mostly to be experienced with a group. Yeah. 100%. I, I agree with that. I think it's something you can kind of laugh at as well. It's kind of funny. It's like funny horror. Definitely. Yeah. You know, it, it exceeded expectations and uh, you know, this is my introduction to you. So I'm kind of curious, you know, how did you get involved with this particular project? Yeah, so this was actually my first project. Oh, uh, wow. With Scott awesome. Reese, Jagged. Yeah, so first one with them. Um, it's a really actually quite a funny story. Um, the day I got the role as an actor, obviously, we have these kind of days where we feel a bit low because it doesn't always, it's not always easy, is it? Like, you're not always booking jobs and things like that. So this particular day, I was feeling a bit low myself. And I spoke to my mum and she was like, do you know what? Just put some makeup on, film yourself, do a monologue and send it to that producer you've got on Instagram, which was Scott Jeffrey. And um, cause she knows everything cause she's not my best friend. Um, <laughs> and that day I was like, why would I do that? And she was like, just do it. Like it'll make you feel better. So I went and I did it. And that same day he responded saying, we're actually casting something at the moment and we really like you for this particular role. So he passed it on to Reese, who directed the film, yeah. who then the same day messaged me and was like, can you read in for this girl like today? Like we need to cast her today. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I did that. And by the evening, so probably around 10 p.m., I was cast as a role. And the role's obviously called Maria, like me, which was kind of weird because I was like, how weird? Because it's not that common yeah. of a name. So yeah, that was kind of cool. So that's kind of how I got involved with Jagged Edge. Um, and it went from there and it was so much fun on set, honestly. It was like the best experience. I, I guess, you know, listening to, to mom pays off, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did, yeah. Was, was she aware of the, the film or like, you know, because I guess my question really is like, how do you explain this type of project to, to friends and family? You know, it's not your typical yeah. uh, film, let alone not your typical horror film either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So at the time, no, I, I wasn't even aware of anything they were working on at the time. Um, as you might already know, with Jagged Edge, they do make so many films every yeah. year. It's something they're constantly doing. I think I think last year they said they made like 30 films in a year. I might be wrong there, I might be miscreating, but I, I think that's what I, that's what I heard. Um, but yeah, when they mentioned it was Winnie the Pooh, I remember I was like, what? Hang on a second. <laughs> How is this going to work? It's like a horror film. Um, and I straight away, I was kind of on board because I just knew it would be so different than the cute little bear that we all like know and love. And when I told my mum, I think she just laughed out loud and was like, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to this day, she's still like, I can't believe you're in a Winnie the Pooh horror film. Uh, so, yeah, I think their reactions initially were definitely like, how is that going to work? But as it's gone on, they're, they're obviously very supportive and they're excited to see the film. They've still not seen the film because it's not out here in the UK yet. So yeah, I, I think that there's some some rights issues in in the UK. It's it's uh, still owned copyright, but uh, there yeah. isn't there is an Australian uh, company that's releasing it on Blu-ray, and you can you can purchase that now, yeah. which is which is really cool. Um, Definitely. So so. At that point, you know, you, you hit them up on Instagram, you know, do, do they just send you sides or like, or yeah. when did that you get day. the whole screen? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> you, have you seen the, you've seen the film yeah, yourself, yeah. haven't you? Um, so one of the scenes in the film where I'm with the therapist, uh, those sides were sent to me and they were like, we literally need to do it, to do this and send it like in the next hour. And I was like, okay, okay. No pressure. I need to learn these lines. <laughs> Uh, so I filmed it, sent it, and yeah, straight away they just said, you're, you're basically kind of what we're looking for um, for the role. So it honestly felt like it was that day was kind of meant to happen. And of course, at that time, I'd, I'd never in a million years imagined that this would happen with the film. I don't think anybody would expect something like this to happen. So this was my debut in film. Um, and for me at the time, it was like, 
I was so excited, but I was excited to experience that and to get showreel footage, honestly. Yeah. And to find out that the film's in cinemas is out of this world, like incredible yeah. experience. Yeah. And, and working working with Reese, you know, is he the type of, of director that, you know, sticks to the script or is is there any improv allowed or like how did that all work on set? Yeah, yeah. So actually, Reese is really flexible with the actors on kind of what approach we want to take. I really enjoyed working with Reese because of that reason. Um, in fact, he'd literally sit down with the actors and be like, does that feel right? Like to say that, like, tell me honestly. And then we'd all kind of sit at the table and be like, well, I think my character would say it like this. And then he'd be like, OK, yeah, like, let's try that. And we, we kind of worked together in the rehearsal beforehand um, with low budget films. So it is a fast turnaround. So there's not much time to do that. So it's very much like spur of the moment. Like, is this working? No. OK, let's change it. Let's try this. OK, let's go. And it's kind of that kind of momentum. But like I say, it's a complete whirlwind of, of um, fun. And he's just like the best director. Like, I loved working with him. Yeah. That kind of brings up an interesting point. So like a few of the the films I've worked on, we've done like table reads, um, you know, mm -hmm. over, over, over the internet um, before we all flew to the location. Now yeah. with you guys, was that a, was that a similar situation or did you guys all meet on set? We met on set. We okay. met on set. Yeah, it was crazy. So we literally rocked up on set and it was like, oh, hi girls. Nice to meet. Cause none of us girls knew each other. Obviously, we're, pay we're playing like best friends. Yeah. Um. So there wasn't much time to build those relationships. So you had to just kind of throw yourself into it and, and give it everything you had. Because we were filming it at that time. The initial shoot was just a week, um, and we had to get everything done in that week. Um. So yeah, it was a very fast turnaround. That's interesting because it, it definitely seems like you guys were having fun on set. You know, from the from the viewers' perspective, you know, I could feel yeah. the love. So. That's that's crazy to know that that was the first interaction. Definitely, um, <laughs> and we just clicked. We just honestly, everyone on set just clicked straight away. It was like I knew them all forever. It was crazy. That's yeah. Whenever everybody has the same goal, I could see that you know working. Um, yeah. I, I want to ask a little bit about uh, Reese a little bit more too. You know, uh, maybe more so your experience. So I, I've I've heard you know he's I've had some really good interactions with him and. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it it pains me to say, you know, he is getting some some death threats because of the success of this film. I was mm -hmm. kind of curious if you've been getting any similar reactions or just negative feedback ultimately. To be honest, I, I kind of expected it to happen um, with it building so much momentum and it being people's like favorite childhood character but honestly I haven't had that to this to this day um mm -hmm. I've not had any kind of negative comments or messages which I'm so grateful for <laughs> um but I think most people understand that it is a film and it's not for everybody I mean Reese never made it for people that love necessarily love that Disney character and want it to stay that way it was for people that have grown up now yeah maybe love it but also want to see a different side to Winnie um and I think because of that yeah, he, he has been targeted quite a bit with, yeah. with that. But but I don't think many of the actors, I don't think any of the actors that I know of have had any like death threats or anything like that. Well, that's that's good to hear, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since this, you've, you've worked on other projects too. And I'm kind of curious as to like, did you feel, um, you know, a similar magic when you were working on those projects too? Or like, was this one just different because it was Winnie the Pooh? Oh, that's a tough one. I think it was different. Yeah, yeah, I think the whole experience was just, it's hard to put into words. I mean, between shots, so at, on set, of course, when we're acting, I was genuinely scared of, of Winnie, like when he was chasing me, it was very genuine fear. Um, but then between shots, I'd be like hugging him and we, cause Craig's such a lovely guy. Like, yeah. so I'd, I'd be like, oh, you're like, cause we were so cold outside. Cause we were shooting outside at night and stuff. So I'd be like cuddling him, like warm me up. Cause he was so warm and all his layers and, his, and everything. <laughs> uh, so, so we had the kind of, it was very like camaraderie on set, like with crew and cast. And I've not, I wouldn't say I felt it the same after that um I did do a film Dinosaur Prison uh yeah. which isn't isn't out yet I think we're doing some more tweaks to that as well that's also Reese's film he directed that I absolutely love filming that as well so I just I think I like to work with Reese in general because he's got a very his approach to it is very actor-led and also 
quite laid back, but still on it with time and everything. So it's just a great kind of dynamic. Yeah, I uh, I have to agree with you. Craig is a special, special guy. I really, <laughs> I really enjoy talking to him. And honestly, yeah. we've continued to talk since. I love since, that. Yeah, he's fantastic. And I, I everyone yeah, that is. asks me about the film, I'm like, just check him out at the very least. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah definitely. He's like the loveliest person. Like yeah. he was one of my best friends on the set, honestly. That that's that's really that's really cool to hear. You know, uh, you he also mentioned that and there was an initial time where you guys filmed and then there was like uh i think a callback for like four more days uh mm -hmm. were you were you a part of the callback and like yeah was yeah. there any difficulties that maybe uh were experienced as well um there was actually so there's a big scene at the end and i'm sure you know which scene i'm talking about but i won't say just in case people haven't seen it yet um which was filmed outside and it was it was a, there was a lot going into this, this scene getting done. Um, but that night we actually found out that there was gonna be a thunder and lightning storm. So there was a lot up in the air, like, is it gonna get called off? Are we gonna go through with it? And in the end we went through with it and it worked fine. But that night was honestly, I have to say, probably one of the worst experiences. Cause I, I really felt it. Like it was just, it was hard, but it was so, Kind of fulfilling as well once we've finished it and, and got through that um with with low budget films there it's, there's no glamour there's no you know there's no trailer to go and kind of get cleaned up in like you're you're outside there's a, a small team of us and we're trying to make something happen and make like make cinema you know make people yeah. feel something um so there was a lot of pressure that night it was and um, on everybody and i think yeah we managed to hopefully pull it together and and get through but that was a is it going to work kind of night? <laughs> Are we going to do this? Was the location, was it like uh, more of like a uh, like a, a vacation spot? Like it had this like weird appeal, like where you would like maybe sit on, you know, outside and, and sip drinks. Was that kind of what that initially was? Yeah. Do you mean the where we were set, like the, the house we were set in or do you there, mean that? Like that and then like Hundred Acre Wood was like a little like uh yeah. like a vacation area it had yeah. this in, yeah okay cool so yeah it, it did feel like that I mean in the daytime it was really nice like walking around but in the nighttime I won't lie it was very creepy at night because <laughs> there was no light anywhere like nowhere so it was just pitch black so that was creepy but it it was a really cool experience that's awesome yeah um before we move on to your other projects you know I I is is there anything you want to maybe say to the people that are on the fence about checking this film out, you know, like, uh, cause I, you know, initially before I talked about it with, you know, my circle, uh, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of people were like, why are you seeing this? And then I mm -hmm. think once people saw my response to it, more people gave it a shot and understood yeah. it. So what's yeah. your perspective? I agree with you. I think that of course it's, it isn't for everybody. And if you feel like it's really not for you, then, then maybe do give it a miss. But I think if you like horror and you're a horror fan, and also if you like to laugh, because it is definitely, you know, it's it's a definitely a slasher stereotypically. Like we do things that you're like, why would you do that? You would not do that in the real world. <laughs> we definitely do those things. But I honestly think it's just a good time. Like if you want to just go and have a good time, have a laugh with your friends and see some gore, then it's completely, it's perfect for that. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, you know, and you mentioned a dinosaur prison, but I also saw you have uh, another film, Perfectly Frank, that's also in mm -hmm. post-production. Um, what can, what do you want to say about those films or what can we expect from, from those projects? Yeah, so um, Perfectly Frank, I was, that was quite a while ago, I was quite a small part in that. Um, that was a musical, actually. It's a lovely little film. It really is. Um, I would say to check that out if you like musicals and you like kind of love stories, romance. It's kind of that vibes. Um, Dinosaur Prison, I actually play an American girl, which <laughs> was so much fun because I love to play Americans. <laughs> I love the accent. I love the whole thing. Because um, I actually used to work on a cruise ship as an entertainer. And I played an American girl on, on the ships as well with Americans. So I was like, I need to be good because they're going to know if I can't do it. Yeah. And I think I kind of picked up 
the accent like all right there. So in Dinosaur Prison, that's who I play. I play um, actually an animal activist who's trying to save all these animals um, that are kind of locked up and find animals that I wasn't expecting, which happened to be dinosaurs. <laughs> and I still want to release them for some reason. But yeah, that <laughs> that one was such a good time to to work on and the cast and crew are amazing. I don't know if you've met Marcus before. Marcus is also on Winnie. I, you I, might don't, have met him. I don't think so. I, I there I've met so many people at, through Winnie now. Yeah, and, uh, and everyone is so gracious. It's just mm -hmm. it's 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 overwhelming. So I, oh. I will I will have to reach out and say hello. Yeah, you will like I think you'd get on really well with him. Actually, he he plays um, the lead in in Dinosaur Prison. And he's so funny, honestly, because it is it is a horror as well. But it's also kind of got thriller in there, a bit sci fi and, and comedy, honestly. And he is so good in that role, like on set. We were constantly laughing our heads off. Like it was, <laughs> it was so hard to keep a straight face on set sometimes with things he'd say, like including the crew. Like, yeah. I'd be on set trying to be serious, and I'd hear someone giggling, and be like, trying to hold it back. So that was a lot of fun to shoot on as well. So I'm excited that to come out. I think we may be doing some reshoots on that as well at some point. Um, but I think Scott and Reese at the moment are just so busy with yeah. everything going on. So yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll have to reach out to Marcus once that gets a release date and then we can kind of do, take a deep dive. You know, what? Yeah. what's it like being like, uh, you know, were you expecting to become like, you know, thrown into this screen queen like world or did it just kind of, I know you mentioned your mom making you reach out, but like, yeah, was it always a goal to be involved in this horror world? Um, it, it Honestly, it never kind of, it, I never really thought I never really thought that in, that deep into it at the time. Like I didn't think like, oh, I want to be a scream queen. It wasn't yeah. any like kind of path I was going down at the time. I very much love to do like drama and things like that. So horror was always like, oh, I, I don't know about that. But having done horror now, I absolutely love it. And I think you, you kind of go to levels that you never really get to go with to with drama. Um, so I do love it now, but initially, no, it was definitely not something I even thought about doing cool. <laughs> at the time yeah <laughs> Spe speaking of levels can i get a little hint of the american accent i i am very curious <laughs> what should i say <laughs> just anything like let's go to mcdonald's i don't know what americans say All right, let's go to mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> well on that note thank you for your time you know here at citadump we let the doers know how they're doing and maria you were doing just fine i will i will keep track of you know of your catalog and check everything out that's you know that's coming out and if there's anything mm -hmm. else in the meantime feel free to throw it my way and i will take a look Definitely. Thank you so much for your time as well, Jesse. It's been not, so fun to talk to you. <laughs> not a problem at all. I had a blast and I look forward to the next project.